Russian President Vladimir Putin is said to be furious that his invasion of Ukraine hasn't been easy as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has refused to enter negotiations. It comes as Russian troops have so far failed to capture the capital of Kyiv. Overnight, Russian troops and tanks entered Kharkiv versus triggering a fight on the streets for Ukraine's second city. The military also blew up a natural gas pipeline close to the northeastern city overnight, prompting warnings of an environmental catastrophe by Ukrainian authorities, before their forces breached its perimeters. However, Putin's progress seems to be slower than he anticipated as he thought it would all be over in less than five days, according to a member of the European Union Parliament who said he was citing Ukrainian intelligence reports. Riho Teres, who is also the former defense chief of NATO member Estonia, tweeted, Putin is furious, he thought that the whole war would be easy and everything would be done in one to four days, the Russians are in shock of the fierce resistance they have encountered. He also claimed the reports shows that the Russian military doesn't have a tactical plan to take Ukraine. Mr. Terras added that Putin's invasion plan relied on sowing panic among civilians and armed forces and forcing Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to flee. Mr. Terras also shared an image of what appears to be an intelligence report that is in Russian and wrote, Putin is raging. He was sure it would be a cakewalk. U.S. defense officials yesterday said Russian forces are growing increasingly frustrated at the Ukrainian resistance. Images show civilians taking up arms to fight alongside Ukrainian forces, making Molotov cocktails and blocking roads. Mr. Terras, citing the intelligence report, said the Russian military has enough rockets only for three or four days. He said the intel report said that there are not enough weapons as fresh sanctions imposed on Russia are hoped to cripple the country's economy and force Putin to withdraw his troops. Mr. Terras said the war was costing £14.9 billion a day and added, if Ukraine manages to hold the Russians off for 10 days, then the Russians will have to enter negotiations. Because they have no money, weapons, or resources. He also added that Putin is currently in his lair in the Urals and has brought Russian oligarchs with him so they couldn't flee the country. It comes as Putin today praised his special forces for heroically carrying out their military duties in his Ukrainian invasion. Zelensky has since stood firm in his position to not back down as he refused to enter negotiations with the Russian government. This morning he said the Kremlin said a delegation has arrived in Homel, Belarus for talks with the Ukrainian counterparts. Zelensky said, if there had been no aggressive action from your territory, we could talk in Minsk. Other cities can be used as the venue for talks. Of course we want peace, we want to meet, we want the war to end. Warsaw, Bratislava, Budapest, Istanbul, Baku, we've offered them to the Russians. Any other city would suit us, too, in a country, from whose territory missiles are not launched at us. This is the only way negotiations can be honest and can really end the war.